y'all it's Michaela from Tomboy Tuesday and I'm here with Andre say what's up Andre. what's up y'all and today we are in his sneaker room slash sneaker closet and we're going to be talking all things sneakers today so let's get into it yeah yeah let's go like what so how do we get here like all of these sneakers, just like how did we get here? Uh, I say it all started at late middle school. Okay. So I think my oldest pair of sneakers is at the bottom right there, next to your right foot. Yeah. That's probably the oldest pair of sneakers I own. That's from like seventh, seventh, eighth grade. They cook now. Yeah, they look like seventh, eighth grade vibes. But yeah, that's probably the oldest sneaker I own and then just from then I just been buying more and more yeah and like middle school that's when I learned yo you take care of your stuff it lasts longer yeah and you have more to show for it, and that's how we got here yeah so how many pair is this like total even the ones on the top total I think it's about 80 something because I wow. think it goes to 12 so it'll be 12 24 36 48 what 60 72 82 then we got yeah. one two three four five six so 88 in wow. here and then there's more in the basement that's just i don't wear them so uh, they just down there like what are they like running shoes it's some running shoes a pair of prestos some old boots yeah stuff i don't really wear like some acgs uh, okay. tims stuff wow. like that so Let's just talk about sneakers, period. So, like, why sneakers? Like, why not something like trading cards or coins or something? Like, why are you a sneaker collector? I feel like your sneaker pulls together your outfit. Yeah. So, I feel like two people can wear the same exact thing, head to, well, leg, and then whatever you <laughs> yeah. put on your foot can make or break the outfit. So, I feel like this is, even though it's, on your feet is the most central and mm -hmm. key element of your outfit. Like even with what I got on right now, yeah. I had three or four different choices right here that I could have put on yeah. and it would have made this look Just totally see. different. Yeah. And I feel like as opposed to trading cards or coins, this is something you can collect and you got something to show for it. Like you take care of something that I bought this year yeah. and I wear it 10 years from now. People are like, dang, I remember when those came yeah. out. Yep. And I yep. feel like that's what I really like about it. Yeah. Um, so what's like your favorite part about sneakers, like collecting sneakers? Just getting new ones. <laughs> I feel yeah. like every, every time I get a new one, yeah. it's like, yo, I got to find something to wear with this. Yeah. But like I have a couple things in here I still haven't worn. I haven't worn these yet. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, you, you gotta get a very good physical. Though. Yeah, I ain't pulled these out yet. I haven't even you laced like, these. Yeah. <laughs> and what else I haven't on worn? Let me see those again. Right the ones in the thing. Just pull it out. Yo, didn't even wear these. Fresh out the box. Right, those. These is BS for real. I haven't worn these sixes yet. Wow, these is tough. What else? This little Air Max One I haven't worn. It's a uh, Puerto Rico Air Max <laughs> One. I haven't worn these. It's the care for the sneakers for me. Look at the inside. You got and this. Like, I haven't worn these yet either. Twins. It's <laughs> a whole lot of stuff. Like I just haven't yeah. worn. Just, it's either like I haven't found an outfit to yeah. wear yet, or just a reason to wear. To wear yeah. Like the sneakers I really like, mm -hmm. I wait for to get an outfit to pull them out. Like I just un DSDs oh, today. Yeah, I saw them when you're today. Yeah. But I only wore them to work. Yeah. Because it's not one I'm like, okay, I'm trying to put some on and turn heads when yeah. I wear this. So I I wore that one to work. And I wear most of my shoes to work. Like, I haven't worn these 14s. I was looking at those. I'm like, wow. I haven't pulled the outfit out for these, but I wore these to work once. Yeah. Just so people I got them. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Um, so, what's your favorite sneaker? Like, what's your favorite sneaker? Like, what's your favorite sneaker? Like, what's your favorite sneaker? Like
So do you have any goals like for your student classes? Do you want it to continue to grow? Like do you want to kind of have a, a whole like room that's nothing full of sneakers? Like what's some of your goals for your sneakers? I definitely want it to continue to grow. I don't want to yeah. put a number cap on it. Yeah. But I want to get to the point where I've taken care of my stuff for so mm -hmm. long and mm -hmm. I've had it for so long that I could go a whole year without having to repeat a sneaker mm -hmm. if I didn't want to. Bro, that's 365 sneakers. 366 yeah. on a week a year. Like. And <laughs> we almost to 100. My yeah. goal is for the, before the end of the year, I want to get to 100. Okay. And then I want to get to the point where I can just like grab stuff that I've always wanted mm -hmm. but never had the opportunity to mm -hmm. get. What's like a pair of shoes always wanted that you just didn't get? Honestly, uh, I want an Air Yeezy. Okay. If I can find yeah. a pair of those, just to have it, I probably would never, never wear, wear it. it. Yeah. But if yeah. I was in a position to be able to afford that mm -hmm. and it makes sense, yeah, I would get one. That's what I said. I was asking somebody the other day. I'm like, yo, if you could trade all your sneakers for just one, like, what would you want pair of be? I'm like, mine is the Red Octobers. Like, yep. if I could get the Red October, I'd be a happy girl. And I'd get a pair of forces, and that's it. Like, I wear my forces cool. all the time. Like, cool. <laughs> so what are some of your favorite places to get your sneakers from? I know you work at a sneaker store, so, of course, the work has a discount. This but, like, where else? lovely. I feel like, mostly, I just get my sneakers from work mm -hmm. off the Nike app. Mm -hmm. I want, I try to keep all my stuff retail or below. Yeah. Cause yeah. those resale prices get dumb. Mm -hmm. But I feel like one thing a whole lot of people don't do is, like I have the ability to do it because I work at a sneaker mm -hmm. store, buy stuff for trade bait. And what I mean by that is, okay, I don't want this, but somebody I know might, so let me give you what you want you give me something that you have that i want okay and that you can do that with resellers some resale stores i like most resale stores will prefer new but it's some places yeah. that'll take used and then you get to know a couple resellers from being in the sneaker business and yeah. you just trade around and get some new stuff like that mm -hmm. and then one thing that they always say i don't necessarily like it mm -hmm. but they say if you can just to like if you're trying to start off and grow your collection buy used mm -hmm. you can get it for a little bit cheaper mm -hmm. as long as it's not killed yeah you can still wear it and you can be cool and i'm a person i like to wear my sneakers i like my sneakers to mm -hmm. look worn but not dirty not big yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to. I don't like now. I definitely don't kill my sneaks. I try to keep them up as much as possible. But like basketball sneakers, they meant to hoop in, mm -hmm. hoop in them. Yeah. Like I hate people who like, nah, I can't wear it, bro. I'm not gonna <laughs> wear it. I'm gonna just keep it on tuck. Yeah. For what, bro? Cause yeah. then you, you pull it out years later, your soul crumbling and falling apart. Mm -hmm. But I guess if I was to go. A resale place outside of the people I know. Uh, Goat. I don't do StockX. Yeah. I never really liked StockX mm -hmm. to begin with. And if you got the StockX tag, take it off. It look tacky. Please and I automatically tackle. assume your sneakers is fake if you got the StockX tag on them. <laughs> or I just know you're an idiot that paid a dummy price. Yeah. And then, other than that, that's about it. Yeah. Work and Goat. My top five. Top five, yes. In my collection. Just take them out. Take one out and just hand it to me. So first. Show the people. This, yes, absolutely. And the top three, absolutely. And then I'd probably say these because blue is my favorite color. Yeah. Those, I go. We got a top three. Is this a UNC one? Yeah. Yeah. Please. Oh, you know, okay, y'all. I'm gonna tell them the story why you pick the other two pair out. Y'all, I told her, I'm like, yo, they didn't come out in my size on the sneakers app. Like, can you just grab these? Like, just so I know somebody got them. My man's got them for me, basically, right? Yeah, pretty for much. me. I'm like, oh my god, and then I see them where I'm like, Ugh. I'm so jealous, but I love these. I really wish they came in like they 
They started at, what, a six? Yeah, I think they started at a six. I'm a five, so it wouldn't work anyway, but I love these. And then these, just because they're different, lightweight, yeah. and they're comfortable. And they give me a couple extra inches on my height. Yeah. <laughs> And then these, just because they different, and hacks, you yes. can freak these so many different yes. ways as long as you know what you're doing. Everything ain't for everybody. Yes. But yes. I'd probably say that's my personal top five that I have in my collection. I wore my biohacks to the pop-up shop last weekend. I don't even want to talk about it. We was outside. It was dirt. Killed. And they killed. So, yeah, I got a scrub. Like scrub, and it's literally only the top, only the blue part that's messed up. I'm like, damn, that's that's ignorant. That's very that's, ignorant. That's top five, probably. It's a yeah. couple other things that I could have put in there. Yeah. But I like these. Yeah, those are reimagined. Yeah. Yeah. Just because of the the history behind it, not not necessarily because of mm -hmm. anything else. Yeah. I like those. Yeah. Do you have a favorite number? Ones, ones yeah. ah, 14 pair of ones. Yeah, that's what I've mostly got in my closet too. Is the ones. That's I that's my them. favorite shoe. I love how they look that. on my feet. Like they yeah. just look, and I like how they look like when you put it together with a fit, whether it's shorts, jeans. You can wear it with, with anything, anything as long everything. as you know what you're doing. Exactly, because some people will wear it with a church dress, and I'll be like, oh my god! Like I was looking up like the Jordan One hashtag, and I'm like. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'd be so embarrassed sometimes. Yeah. Like, yo, what are y'all doing? I, nah, that <laughs> kills me. Like, when you go on sneakers and you don't hit, yeah. and then you see somebody wear the sneak you want and they're not doing it like, justice. Bro, How many times I've seen people with Travis's off yeah. white and they're either killed mm -hmm. or like the fits is just bad? I'm yeah. like, all right, bro. Yeah. That's, that's those annoying. are people you use to. So are you team Nike? It seems like you're team Nike, yeah. but I do see some new balance in here. As everything is Nike. I, I got some except questions. some Pumas. I got a question. And then a new balance and I got an ASIC. Yeah. But it's no no Adidas over here. No Yeezys, none of that. Yeah. I don't like Adidas. Why you don't like Adidas? Because the logo just don't look good to me. Oh, okay. I understand. It don't fit my Yeah. I understand. So what's something that you like about the sneaker like market and culture now what's something that you dislike about it i guess i'll start with the dislikes first i i understand i'm not i'm all about people getting their money yeah but i don't like the resale culture because i mm -hmm. feel like it kills everything mm -hmm. because my favorite shoes jordan ones mm -hmm. i like ones before the whole hype crit and I feel like the craze for one started with the first off off white collab. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And after that, everybody yeah. wanted Jordan ones. I'm like, bro, y'all like threes, fours, and elevens. Mm -hmm. Why everybody all of a sudden like I ones like, now? Yeah. And then I feel like everybody rides a wave. People don't do what works for them. Yeah. Like now everybody's wearing new balances, so everybody feel like they got new balances don't fit everybody bro like, first of all new balance i posted my unboxing video of new balance and i'm like yo that's how i feel my caption orthopedic but make it cute because it looks like an orthopedic shoe like the 990 v6 yeah. that i got i'm like yo this is like an orthopedic shoe like this is a pop pop shoe but the pink was cute so i got it but that's probably the only pair i'm gonna get maybe the gray but other than that i'm just like yeah, i got new I'm balances okay. because they're comfortable they are comfortable and yeah. i work in them mm -hmm. It's rare where out of all of these, you'll see me put a fit together yeah, with a New Balance exactly. shoe. But if I know I'm be on my feet all day and I want to be comfortable and still look good, yeah. I, that's why I have New Balances. Yeah. That's not really my go-to thing. I guess the thing I say I, would, I like is seeing the sneakers out and about on different people's feet. Mm -hmm. Good fit, bad fit. I just like to see sneakers being worn and how yeah. people is deciding to put it together. Mm -hmm. Cause I always tell people like, do what works for you. Cause mm -hmm. people like, yo, bro, you think this look good? And I'm like, yo, I, I personally will not wear that. Right. But it right. works for you. Like some mm -hmm. people take that as an insult, but nah, everybody can't pull everything off. Yeah. So an outfit that might work for your body type and your style mm -hmm. 
won't work for me because we're two totally different people. Yes. But I have to say my favorite is definitely seeing how people put their pieces mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Do you, um, besides, okay, besides do what works for you and buying like old, if they just starting out their sneaker collection, like what advice would you give somebody who's trying to build up their sneaker collection or who wants to get into sneakers? Because I get a lot of people that ask me all the time, or they be like, okay, I'm trying to get into sneakers. Like, where should I start? I'm like, bro, what do you like? Like, that, what do you like? <laughs> I don't know. That's, what, that's what I tell people all the time. <laughs> Why would you like? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm. Buy what you like and then find different things and try stuff on. Yeah. Don't just yeah. go and grab something because mm -hmm. somebody else has it and you thought it looked good on them. Then you, you get it. You might not like it as yeah. much. Go to the store. See what looks good on you. Buy what you like. Because mm -hmm. trust me, everything. It's like these. Yeah. These make my feet look long yeah so i'm like i i haven't worn them they look good i like mm -hmm, them mm -hmm. but they make my feet look huge so yeah. i just they're just sitting here yeah and then i also don't be afraid to go against the grain mm -hmm. you don't always got to do what everybody else is doing if you see something even if nobody else you know has it go grab it yeah. put it together and people it's been so many times people have looked at something like yo bro that's ugly. I would never wear that. And in the back of my head, I'm like, yeah, I got something like that. <laughs> and then I wear it. They're like, oh, mm -hmm. it's not that bad. Like these. Yeah. Yeah. These look crazy. They look crazy off their feet. But, but yeah. I, I like them. So I said, let me buy them and see how they work. See, yeah. They hard as hell to get on, though. So I never wear them. They look like it. That's how they usually are, though. I could but not get shoes, that shoe on. Yeah. It takes forever. Yeah. Yep. And you know what? My... I'm going to just tell the story. My sister, not Maya, my other sister, she wanted a sneaker so bad. She went, first of all, she went on GOAT to get a pair of forces. I don't understand why she did that. But she went on GOAT to get some forces. She gets a men's size 8. She texts me like, since my, my forces don't fit, I'm like, what size did you get? She's like, 8. She's like, that's my size. I'm like, bro, is it men's or women's? She's like, it's men's. You gotta go down a size, like two sizes. It's in a size men's. and a half. So, and, whatever yeah. your women's size is, you go a size and a half, and that's how you can And then, out what you forces, wear. you probably have to go down maybe two whole sizes. Because yeah, forces run, run so big. big. Like, I'm like, 14, you didn't pay $100 for these forces, and you could have just went to the mall and got them you and got tried them, them on. Like, exactly. <laughs> Yes. And then another thing I tell you, know, if you can fit kids' shoes, yes. buy kids' shoes, mm -hmm. except for forces, because I feel like the women's force, the women's mm -hmm. all white forces look the best. Yeah. And yeah. so if you can get that, put that on. But if you yeah. can fit a kid's shoe, buy the kid's shoe, you save, you save yourself a couple dollars. Mm -hmm. Like using the forces as an example, Adult forces, men and women's one ten. Kids forces are ninety dollars. Yeah, yep. Um, nine nineties for adults. They're two hundred dollars for kids. They're one thirty. Same shoe, same exact size, same material yeah. put into it. They're just for kids. Yeah, that's all it is. And honestly, I feel like the nine nineties too. They run a little bit big because I got a five. I probably could have got a four and a half. Like they, they feel big on my, not super big, but like it's just like I've got like extra room at the top, and I'm like, mm. but I feel like if I would have got the four and a half, it would have been too tight on mm -hmm. my toes. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, mm. I don't know. But go in the store and try it on. That's your best bet. That's how you know like what size you are. Because I get a lot of people asking me too, like what size should I get? And I'm like, honestly, I don't know because your I got narrow feet, so my mm -hmm. feet like. If I'm a woman seven, I get a five. Like, every, it works every single time. But, like, with my Yeezys, I had to go up a size because they run small and they're tight as heck and they're hard to get on. So, it's just, like, it's just trial and error, honestly. And then I got the um the foam runners. I'm sick. I want the foam runners. I got a six. They were way too big. They run like, big. Way too big. And I'm, like, looking at the thing as, like, size up. So, I'm, like, all right, I'm usually a five, so let me get a six. I had to sell them. I was so big. I was finding them like we know what's going on with Adidas and, and Kanye right now. I'm just like, dang, but I'm just like, it's not even worth it paying stock X or gold prices because I'm like, I'm not about to pay 
$110, but I can get them for like, how much is they on a, on a Adidas app? Like 90 Yeah. Probably, yeah. But it's yeah, probably I think like, the foam runners is 90 and the slides is like 70 Yeah. And y'all's paying. No, well, actually we're paying like, 140 150 because I went to Bullseye and basically just like did a swap and he was like, I'll give them to you for 140 I ended up getting a human races and the human races was 150 I'm like, you gonna make me pay $10 for a pair of human races? I'm like, I'm not paying $10. He's like, right, I'll just go even, an even trade. But I'm like, yeah. phone runner for 150 but is like, crazy. It's a whole lot of places like Bullseye, even mm-hmm. even for the same shoe, different size. Yeah. They're like, let me get like $20, $30. I'm like, bro. Yeah, they good. be taxing. I'm cool, never mind. Yeah. But another thing, don't buy a shoe that don't fit just to have it. Yeah. I feel like it's not worth it in the end. Because yeah, if it's too big, you crease the shoe up more than it needs to be. Your shoe look crazy. If it's too small, your feet going to pay for it at the end of the exactly. day. Exactly. And then you walking around with your shoes flopping off the back of your feet. I be in the mall looking at people like, yo, now you know these sneakers is too big for you. like, And you just wearing it out for you to fly this thing. Like, please don't get your size. Especially dunks. Yeah. Because dunks run big. Yeah. So yep. people will go get their size not knowing. Mm-hmm. And then the whole... Just don't let it happen again, bro. Yeah. And another thing that I will say, too, especially for, like, people who are beginner sneaker heads that you need to know is get the force shields because, especially if you're getting a pair of forces or dunks or something that creases easily because I hate seeing people walk around with, like, you know how, like, you can just tell when somebody's shoes is just, they've been wearing them too much and they just crease and then it you just makes the shoe too day. big. Like, it just... It, it looks worn and it's not a good worn. It's not like a that's why I got these. Like, yeah, like you need to get something or even I, I wear my shoes and I don't wear I don't have I don't get force fields mm-hmm. just because we sell the crepe ones at mm-hmm. Champs mm-hmm. and those are plastic and they hurt your feet yeah. and I don't be feeling like going to Foot Locker to get the force fields so yeah. I just put these in my shoe after yeah. everywhere, kind of bring it back to life a little bit. Mm-hmm. So it's creased a little, but it's not creased to hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much, Andre, for this segment of Tombo Tuesday. This is the first one that's like me in person. So I appreciate you. And make sure y'all follow Andre on Instagram and like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Peace out. See y'all. Don't get to the